Well, I think policies at the national level are influenced by two things. One is what is happening at the global normative level, such as in the UN, and in global culture and so on. But they are also influenced by what is happening in the society and what are the dynamics that are pushing policy in the society. We should not uh, make the mistake, though, to think that when a policy is developed that that automatically means it will be implemented. In fact, uh, the, the bigger picture usually is that policies are, are, are statements that are very important, but the implementation is often found to be lacking. This is possibly because the policy is not actually uh, anticipating the problems of implementation and therefore did not uh, really strategize in the way to make sure it could and would be implemented. It did not have accountability or budgetary or monitoring and evaluation components to it. Maybe it was too ambitious. Maybe it assumed that there was the possibility for success when, in fact, more modest objectives could have been more realistic. So it's always important to see when policy is formulated, how can policy really uh, intersect with the uh, dynamics of the society and of the world, and in such a way, really, it can push forward that is going to be meaningful and the policy can really be implemented. And that means policy formulation on a multi-stakeholder basis is one way to help ensure that there's much wisdom in the policy and there's lots of buy-in and there's lots of support for the implementation of the policy. This is why UNESCO supports uh, the policy development process, especially when you come to internet issues, to be in a multi-stakeholder way.